Well, it's been a while since I was personally in Brink because whenever it's possible, for people who want to demo VR in general, I put for them through steps to just see the mechanics and then straight away Brink. Just because in terms of the visuals and getting the virtual reality point across, this is one of the best examples to do so. Today I suppose we have a partially quest-free update because the developers tend to enhance the visuals with every single patch, so it's not like it's just the end of the story here. But to me the most interesting feature is gonna be the AI travel assistant companion or, or whatever. <laughs> Basically you speak to a thing and then it's gonna answer whatever question you have I think. This new era of AI stuff going on, I suppose it's also starting for VR. And I figured it's gonna be a good thing to test here. Cause you can just ask whatever it pleases you. <laughs> oh wow, there's even a uh, fairy downstairs. I will go for French stuff because I'm based in that country, so I kinda have to. Apparently Marseille is a new map and I want to travel to it one day as well, so it's gonna be interesting to see the first steps. <laughs> Marseille, a vibrant port city on France's Mediterranean coast, boasts a rich cultural and natural heritage. Its picturesque Vieux Port, home to bustling markets and seafood eateries, is a testament to its maritime roots. Friol Island, a short boat ride away, offers pristine beaches with clear waters and the fascinating Chateau d'If. Marseille Hiver, part of the Calanque National Park, features dramatic limestone cliffs, turquoise coves, and diverse flora and fauna making it an idyllic escape for outdoor enthusiasts. I appreciate the French accent. <laughs> Want to learn even more about these amazing places? Luckily, you happen to have a virtual assistant at your fingertips. You can use your walkie-talkie to ask any questions about your surroundings. Just look at the palm of your right hand, press on the walkie-talkie icon, and grab to select. So we're like outside of the city on the... Uh cross mountain which I don't know what's happening specific here I know we can change the perspective yeah maybe the island would be interesting yeah that's more like the appropriate view of Marseille I feel like I mean it's there so this is something extra <laughs> I do think that Brink, in terms of the realism, can really step up. Of course you can see some stuff are like flat and fake, but it's more an ambience filler. And the whole app is based on the photogrammetry, which that's pretty much the future of the visuals in general. <laughs> I'm not necessarily impressed by the 360, but I never was. In VR it's just very hard to have a high quality one but the environment looks nice even the shadows are dynamic like what's moving here <laughs> where are we we are currently standing in marseille located in the south of france marseille is known for its beautiful coastline vibrant culture and delicious mediterranean cuisine Ew, seafood yeah, maybe I'm not gonna go here. <laughs> I mean, it's very general, but it's not like my question was specific. <laughs> so what's this cross about here? The cross you see in Marseille is the Notre Dame de la Garde, a basilica located on the highest point in the city. It is a major symbol of Marseille and offers stunning panoramic views of the city and the Mediterranean Sea. Many visitors come to admire the basilica and enjoy the breathtaking views from this iconic spot. Cool. It also has some engravements, I think. How big Marseille is? I'm not able to discuss personal birthdays or ages, but I'm here to help you learn more about the location we're in or assist with any questions related to travel, nature, or geography. Feel free to ask about Marseille or any other topic you're interested in. Well, I did, so... It seems like AI is not perfect after all. 
and during night time we're gonna be hunted by wolves and the Marseille is looking fine now but mostly because of the illusion of the night time <laughs> although the sky is kind of low quality as well the show is always free at Cirque de Gavarnie a natural amphitheater in the Pyrenees Mountains along the French-Spanish border. Thundering waterfalls provide the musical entertainment while you meander through a pine forest filled with rare wildflowers, emerging into a valley with spectacular views of the entire Cirque. From here, you can see the Gavarni Falls, the second tallest waterfall in Europe. Named a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1997, Cirque de Gavarni is 1,700 meters tall and 14 kilometers from end to end. Sit back, relax, and enjoy nature's performance. Wow. I love the ambience, like, with the mist, moving particles, like, this is pretty cool. And the resolution is just high-end, point black period. <laughs> It would be fun if there would be like some animals maybe on the sides. Although I hear some bells, so I think we have goats. They're coming. <laughs> Wait, they're actually coming. What the hell? Nah, it's just an illusion. Okay. So what's the tallest waterfall in Europe? The tallest waterfall in Europe is the Vinifossen waterfall in Norway, with a total height of about 860 meters. It's a stunning natural wonder worth visiting. The Marino. Well, I'm getting scared by the sunset. <laughs> I mean, it is stunning. There is just no denying it. What about the other locations? I don't think we have any. Les Miserables author Victor Hugo sang the Cirque's praises in his epic poem, Dieu, written in the mid-1800s. He called the song... Yeah, I'm not about the history. You can just simply sit here and then watch, because it is so realistic that you just feel like you're here. And then with the ambient sounds. Top notch stuff. Watch your step. It's a she. And this is the classic. But I feel like, yeah, this app really does perform well now with pancake lenses. I might have seen it on the Pro already, so maybe the differences aren't necessarily huge. But like here, even the water is just reflecting the sunlight and then it's just moving <laughs> somehow. So in general, I think the Assistant is a pretty nice addition. You might need to know how to work around it, because some questions might be not precise enough or based on my Shdias accent but I like that you can actually learn something from just being here and then enjoying the visuals with the information and this environment is pretty much flawless because this is the representation of the whole app pretty much. In total Brink is yet again great and for people who never tried VR this is like the perfect representation of it.